supposed to be on lockdown. Hmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma- No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Mommy? I'm sorry, Ma. No longer going after Stranger Danger, going after his daughter. BRB, see you guys later. Whew. I am not surprised. That has to be her. But also, hi. Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Mmm, Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Me, 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 me. <laughs> Tell me your indoor cat won't survive in the wild without telling me. Okay, so...
Hi. Hello. Welcome to my cat is here. Nyx. Nyx, you're never here at the top of the stream. Is it because I'm playing the cat cafe dating sim? Is that what's happened? She's like, mother, let go of me. You have a hold on me. Hi. Hello, gremlin. What are you doing? She's like, that may be free. Ma'am. Sweet pea. She has been like leaning into my face for the last like two minutes of the countdown, I swear. And then she knows the camera is on suddenly, so she runs away. I don't understand how she knows this. Ma'am. Yeah, I know. We got to give you a good brush in sometime soon. You're shedding all over the place. Hi, B. Hello, everybody. Don't mind me as the cat just like slowly takes over. Hi. You want a cup? Come here. You love. Come on. Come here. Hello. And yeah, I know. Dating someone on Monday. What is this? It's called Parker's Slow Descent into Becoming a Dating Sim Only Channel. I don't know. Which is actually hilariously what I wanted to be at the very start. And then, and by the very start, I mean long before I actually started doing anything. What was it? Last June? Um, I actually deeply considered the idea of just doing a dating sim channel. Still could be the case. Uh, we're not getting too far off from that. Um, I also realized that I might actually be near the end of this game and I didn't want to put it off until Thursday again. So I'm going to play it today. And then we're going to see if we get back to Lunar. We're going to see. Um, one of these days I might just like take a Saturday and do a long, long, long stream and it's just going to be Lunar. Ma'am, I'm now eating your fur. My love, my darling, my angel. Hi, everybody. Happy Monday. Sorry, I was a few minutes late. Um, work, as per usual. This week is going to be a little hectic. Hoping next week is a little better. Ma'am. Ma'am. You're giving me a look again. But I hope everybody's doing okay. Nyx hopes so too, but she just doesn't want to be on camera. Ma'am, why are you, why are you like this? She's like, you have to give me attention, but you can't do it while you're on camera. Hi. Meow Mix Monday, by the way, is a great suggestion. And we might, if we continue with Hustle Cat, it might become the thing. The bee. The bee. My weird child. Yeah, you want to be a little bit on camera? Just a little? Oh my god. I know. Yeah, so I'm excited because I think I realized we might actually be really far into this. Or at least one run through of this. Because similar to like most other dating sims, you could replay it multiple times to get different endings with different people. Um, this one's just I find harder to track than most other ones. Hi, B. Hello. Do you want what do you want from my life? Your Auntie Katsy says hi. Hi, B. And she's like, Mom, I don't want anything to do with this. Okay? No? I don't know. She's gonna be the death of me. Yeah, you. Yeah, you. Anyways. So. If she, she lets me, we're going to start. Um, but yeah, so we'll see. Um, this if, if we end up finishing it, we might cut it short today just because it's already one of those Mondays. But um, And we'll see. We might. But it was just in my head that I was like, mm, this feels like the right game to play today. Load this file, yes. Hi, it's Doug. Meow. Uh, the other... Oh, so the other kind of fun note. I saw a call... So for those of you who have been through uh, my Arcade Spirits obsession, um, and you know that there's a new game coming out, new challengers, no, <laughs> oh, like in a month. Oh shit, y'all, we're only playing short games. As soon as that drops, we're doing it. Um, I may have put myself on a list to possibly get, maybe at least earlier access. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know what, I, but I put. I managed to find one of the other writers um on twitter and they were looking for content creators 
who would be in, who wanted to be put on a list for something related to Arcade Spirit's new challengers. So, even if I can just get early access, I'd be so happy because I will play the hell out of it immediately. Um, Y'all know this. Y'all know that I really enjoyed my time with Arcade Spirits so much so that I jumped on their demo so fast. Uh, so yeah, so we'll see. We'll see. Um, but they have my email address, so... But bam Anyways. Where do we leave off? I think... I think one of the lovelies stayed over? I don't remember anymore. We're learning magic! That's exciting. Very weird when there's no music in this game. Okay, so morning already. I have no idea what time I actually fell asleep, but it definitely wasn't early enough. I can carry Finley in the bags under my eyes. Finley, that's the lady cat. It's been obviously a while. So I'm real tempting to hit sm snooze. Smooze. As often as how many times I can afford before I risk running late. About four. But that's not fair to my guest. I should see how she's doing. I thought that if she was not on cafe grounds she was a cat like that was just the part of the curse if she turns into a cat also side note can you imagine how yeah no the fact that she she human right now very cute human so like zero complaints whatsoever she's taking a cat nap but um bumps ah what happened how is she not a cat right now Finley, you're, you're, I'm lit. Wake up, go look in a mirror, you're not a cat anymore. Hmm? She stares, all down, she stares down at herself, that seep through the sleep into her brain. That seeps through the sleep into her brain. She shoots off the couch and grabs my hands. I'm not a cat, I'm not a cat! You're not a cat. None of us are cats. I've never been a cat though. And I am my, okay, let me just say, that is the one qualm I have with this game so far, is the fact that I've never turned into a cat. And I am quite disappointed at this fact. We jump up and down shake with joy. From his bed, Mochi gives us a cranky stare because obviously he's very grumpy with us. Well, one of us is still a cat. But you were a cat to begin with, Mochi, and therefore stop complaining. What did you do? How did you do it? I don't know. Yeah, I am with you, Katzi. I wanted to know what breed I would end up. I wanted to see how cute I would become. I am just... I don't know. I didn't even know what happened. I spent a lot of time working with magic last night. I guess it's... <gasps> oh, but y'all... Okay, so remember how I got, like, a whisker? But then I found the tome and the reader, and I started practicing magic. What if the way to stop to prevent the curse from taking impact is by, I guess, devoting yourself to witchcraft? Weird moral, but I'll, I mean, I'll run with it. Oh, I figured out my magic and what I can do. Show me. It's kind of hard to show. Let's just say I know what to do if that guy comes back. I hope he doesn't. But I also want to see. I'll figure something out. My first coffee. I got maybe an hour of sleep. So, yeah, she was having a cat nap. You got it. I'll stop for breakfast before work. My treat. Ooh, so generous. Have you been to the corner store around here? They make really amazing donuts. They're almost better than Mason's, but also don't tell Mason because Mason will kill me. I have only been able to shop on the internet lately for obvious reasons. My God, can you imagine just like, I'm glad Nyx cannot shop online. That'd be the worst. Can you, oh God. Just brutal. Oh, this is exciting. I can go to real stores again. I can wear all my new outfits and other people will actually see them. But what about Jelly Donut? <laughs> You're right. I want to take you shopping with me. Oh, I love you. You're just so precious. We all look so cute together. Together? I'm sorry, what? Can't shop yet. Um, No, thank you. That child does not need access to my credit card. Uh, if my cat gets access to my credit card, I am in a world of trouble. Like... Y'all, just be bad. I already spoil her. Oh, it, yeah. As we walk to breakfast, Finley tells me about the type of clothes she recommends for me. God love her. Not too good at fashion, but I think if it's with Finley, I could be. it could be a lot of fun. Pick up a box of donuts and eat them as we walk. Finley, come here for a second. 
cardboard, nothing but... Yeah, that's just it. She would order random stuff just for the boxes. That's it. And wet food. That's all she would do. Wet food, treats, and just things that, have, that come in boxes. She can order boxes, she will. <laughs> Got a little bit of donut glaze on the side of your mouth. Smooch. You can smooch. Smooch it off. Why don't you help me? Oh my god, why am I the densest person on the planet? Here's the thing, guys. I just I didn't want to be angry at monsters tonight. I just wanted to be angry at how dense I was. That's all. She slips her hands around my shoulders. Oh, now I do. I'm an idiot. And by I'm an idiot, I mean Avery. Kind of is. Oh, well, if you insist. Hey, lean in. Wow. I'm not surprised you're fraternizing with your little white knight. I'm sorry. Oh. Wouldn't be surprised if you pay all your followers with a little sugar. We gonna kick his ass. Eh? Finley and I drop our hands. I put my head to the side. Probably give myself whiplash. Yup, it's this asshole. Your security isn't here to help you this time. Did you ambush us? Nobody around to interrupt. So we can talk nice and clearly now. He very jelly. Jelly donut. <laughs> Never been in a fight before. Not a real one at least. I don't count the time in fourth grade I gave a kid a nosebleed by whacking him with my jacket zipper. I guess this is as good a time as I need to start. Take one step closer, you scum lord. I am going to. Hey, Avery. Guys, I should have prepared popcorn. This is going to be great. She puts her hand on my shoulder and takes a step forward. She wipes the icing from her mouth and her thumb and cracks her knuckles. Y'all, don't fuck with Finley. I'm excited for this. I've got this. If you say so. <gasps> She's gonna do the thing. Do the thing! Normally I wouldn't hurt a girl, but liars like you, I swear to God. Nope. She puts her hands in the air in a particular peculiar gesture. I feel power, something around her. Hashtag blocked. I love that she has her she her she has the power of the internet on her side, folks. Gust of wind catches us from behind, smacking full force into the stalker. He stops, his arms fall to his sides. He's frozen in place, his shoulders twitch, but he can't seem to move anything more than that. Hashtag reported. I wish this is how this shit worked. Can you imagine? A ripple of wind catches around us for a moment. There's silence, but then there are sirens. Sirens get close. The siren gets closer around the corner. It gets closer and closer. I see the squad car stop right at the edge of the alley. Police officer walks towards us. We've received reports of trouble. You all right? This man has been harassing us. Please take him away. That true, buddy? The officer slaps her hand firmly on the man's shoulder. I'm going to take you to the station. Come with me. Dumbly, he nods. The cop steers him towards the, the cop steers him towards the squad car. Yeah, this is the new like whatever. <laughs> now it's hashtag blocked, hashtag recorded. This is a very nuanced superpower, my love. Unless it's just the power of hashtags. And then they're gone as suddenly as they appeared. WTF, mate. She stands rigid, staring in the direction of the car that is no longer there. Uh, Finley? Darling? Sweetheart? She turns me with a wild look at her eyes. They're almost glowing. That, my dear, is how I'll handle the creeps. You did that. All that. Holy crap, all I can do is bend soda cans. I was really scared it wouldn't work, but it did! It worked and we're safe! How'd you come up with that? I don't know, I was just thinking over and over, I wish things like blocking and reporting actually worked in real life and it was like a light went off. So this is magic. I can do magic! I love her so much. I'm a wizard, Avery, I'm so glad. You already used that line. I don't care, I love it. You should be careful. I mean, when has this ever happened? Internet creeps just don't get magicked away by cops. But what if it happened a lot more often? What? Nothing, you sweet child. Don't you worry about it. Give me some sugar. You want... I can't even. Avery is so dense. No, you dumbo. I 
I'm going to say there was a smoochie. There were smoochies. We are happy. So this is the energy I needed on a Monday. I'm walking on this. I'm walking on the sun with the stars on my shoulders and the wind in my hair, or some other complicated metaphor. I don't know. I've been so happy lately. It's great. I mean, work is still work. Mochi is still mochi. But if I've got a real cute crush I can spend my time with, and I'm starting to get to the bottom of this magical curse thing. Oh, oh. Pick. Say nothing. What? How's that different from different than don't say anything? These choices are so obtuse. This whole game is so obtuse. You don't get it here. There's nuance here. Akia's cho choosing between action and action, and <coughs> Avery is me here. Just want to see them smooch. Story of my life, Avery. Why do you think I played this damn game? I know I told you. I'm basically an expert on this route. Leads to the best kissing scene. You gotta get that build, that slow burn. No. Give me the smooches. This is the slowest burn I live for that stuff. We didn't have a slow burn. Well, that was a little slow because you're so dense. You're not wrong. Hey. As promised, Finley did bring in Blast Zone and we're huddled around her laptop playing. Didn't think I'd like a romantic game about boys fighting, but this is really compelling. I'm playing bits and pieces on breaks and after work. Everyone else stays away because Finley's tried this shtick on them before. They're a loss, honestly. There's a lot of good romance angst in this game. I settled into one of the bean bags and Headley spent it in my lap. That's also part of our new evening routine. It's late. Everyone else went home. I'd suggest we go back to one of our apartments to play, but there's no way Finley's going to interrupt this scene. So when we beat this, should we do one of the other outs? No, Keita or bust! Ooh, okay, sweet pea, strong opinions. You understand, the story falls apart in all the other routes. It's terrible, it's a trash game. And you said you liked this game. It's complicated. Yeah, this sounds like a lot of what happens. I get it. If I wasn't playing this, I'd be playing some other trash game. What I should be doing is figuring out how to break the curse for everyone else. It's tricky. I don't know how to introduce them all to magic. Finley offered to make a video, but that sounds like too much work. We should just get them all together after work someday and do it. It's been hard to get everyone in the same place lately. And then there's Graves. Where is he? Gotta pick before time runs out. Right, right. I make the suggested choice and we continue with the scene in the game. It's been graciously quiet since that thing with the internet ran out. Graves did say something about security improvements a while back. Maybe he did something to keep people out? Like a ward? Did he accidentally ward himself out too? Ooh, ooh, this is the good part. Stop zoning out. Call me out here, girl. She slaps my shoulder and that train of thought dissipates. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about some work stuff and that it's kind of getting late. Oh, man. Okay, let's save this into this tomorrow then, okay? Kata's confession requires your full attention. I await it with bated breath. But come on, let's go. You can't stay here all, all night either. All right, all right. It's way later than when I usually leave. The sun's usually still peeking through the city skyline, but tonight the moon's already high. Back home, crickets would be chirping full force right now. They get super noisy this time of year. Finley's apartment is in the same direction as mine, so we walk hand in hand to the halfway point. So there's a sequel to Blast Zone, but it's garbage, you know? They added a new character they added new characters and totally played down Kate's backstory. But wait, wait, wait till we beat it, then I'll tell you. She's been talking about the game the whole way back, which is really adorable and I'm kind of in love with it. And later she talks videos. I want to introduce you to vlogs. And then we can start doing cute little bits, but where you go on dates in the city and stuff. You are precious and so cute, and I love you. That sounds so fun, but are you sure? Like, about me? I don't have a lot of, like, on-screen charisma or anything. No, I'm very, very dense. Oh, I think you have plenty of charisma. Are you saying I have bad taste? Yeah, how dare you insult her taste? She gives my hand a squeeze. I, what was I just saying? I'm just teasing. At least my fingers between hers and pulled closer. Sadly, we're already at the crossroads where we have to part ways. I'd come over, but I have some editing to do. So, see you tomorrow. You know where to find me. Of course. And then the thrilling conclusion of our game. She gives me a quick kiss and bounds off down the road to her apartment. Bye, sweetie. Why is she so precious? Well, better start picking up some vlog-worthy outfits, huh? I'm sure Finley will go shopping with me. Think about it the rest of the way home. This is not good, I'm getting concerned. 
As I round the corner, I feel a tense, creeping stiffness crawl up my back. My steps are slow. My legs are suddenly heavy. This is familiar. It's a feeling I got the other day before I ran into that dude who kept staring at me. Like someone's breathing down my neck or looming behind me, reading over my shoulder. Is someone following me? I whip around. Just the street. I walk faster. I hate that feeling of like, you feel like somebody's following you, but there's really nobody, but also you just can't help but shake the feeling. I feel it like growing with every step towards my apartment. Dread ho hollows a burrow in my stomach. Why do I feel so anxious? I don't even have far to go. Am I getting, oh. Oh what? Oh no. It's him. Did, I, did he find out where I live? Does he live here too? That's too much of a coincidence. My limbs freeze. My, I can feel my heart shaking inside my rib cage. The fact that he has a baseball bat is also very concerning right now. Can't place why. Howdy. Mm, good evening, sir. My voice feels small and foreign like it's thrown by a ventriloquist. I try to beeline for the door, but he sidesteps and blocks my way. No, no, no. Why the hurry? Won't you answer a couple questions, kiddo? His deep, drawling voice is saccharine venom. That's on a smell, but it's certainly not one that puts me at ease. Uh, do you need directions? Are you lost? Can't keep the tremor out of my voice, and yet he notices. <laughs> well, ain't you smart? Right to the point. Why, yes, I am lost. But I ain't looking for a place. Oh, I found that. Looking for a guy. Think you can help? I'm pretty new to the city. I probably can't. I also am really dumb. <laughs> I reckon you can. Suppose I shouldn't mince words. You're a busy person. I'm already feeling guilty wasting your time. I'm trying to hunt graves down. You seen him? What do you want with my boss? See a friend? Can't be. He feels like danger. See, I've been looking all over for my old buddy. And it's like he don't exist. Ain't that a shame? Yeah, I haven't seen him recently either. Anger flashes over his face like an eclipse, vanishing as quickly as it had come. Too bad. I got so much to talk about. I suppose the apprentice will do. Oh, what? Wait, what? No, sir. Kindly fuck off. Go away. <laughs> That'll send the message. Intent reaches my feet before it hits my ears. I am running before I know it. I'm not dumb enough to stick around and find out what he means by send the message. I don't look behind to see if he's following. That would slow me down. I have to get to the cafe. I just have to run like I'm being chased even if I'm not. Ping! I hear a sharp noise behind me like a metal bat hitting a home run. My foot gets stuck. On what I don't know, magic. It's magic. He uses the baseball bat. It's all magic. Yep! Am I calling it or what? Force knocks me over and twists my ankle in a way that shocks pain up my leg. Seeing stars and want to crawl away, but I can't. Gotta speak to Grave about your manners. Didn't even excuse yourself. What a rude little kitten. And I look down. My foot is covered in rust. His movement is molasses, like he's enjoying a stroll through the park. I crane my neck, my head over my shoulder to see him, but it's hard from this angle. You've been polite. We wouldn't need to fight. Didn't want to hurt you, kitten. How do you? He knows about the curse. Sorry, I'm still dealing with the fact that I've got cat fur on my lip balm. On my lip gloss. Because my cat is like the it. Because of course she is. Also, I like that we started. Yeah, no. No om nom nom. Not on cat hair. Not yummy in the slightest. Um, I like that we started off today's stream with very cute, very wholesome energy, and now I'm being attacked. I just, I did this one because I didn't want to deal with monsters, sir. 
<laughs> I only need a couple answers. But if you want a duel, I ain't gonna complain. Promise you won't run away, yeah? I'll play dirty if you don't. I don't think I could break this rust without breaking my ankle off. It already feels like it's broken. <laughs> Believe in the heart of the cards! Yes, I will. I shall. <laughs> also, hey, friend. How's it going? How are we doing? Tears sting my eyes. I can barely use magic to make trash sculptures. How am I supposed to use it to fight? Couldn't tell you. I'm doomed. Well, I mean... Hmm. Graves! You haven't changed a bit, Noct. Still pushing around the weak to excuse your own mal malfeasance. At home hanging out with the wee baby Sheikington. Oh, that's cute. Oh, that's so good. Never been so happy to hear my boss's voice. Graves! <laughs> Blue eyes, white dragon to fight this guy, right? I'm hoping that uh, he activates Graves' trap card and this can just be all over. <laughs> Graves will know what to do. Okay, the fact that I say that line makes me very, very unsure that Graves will have anything correct to do. I know it. <laughs> and here you come, acting like you ain't got nothing to do with it. You gonna get me all nostalgic, old man. I don't think Graves is that old. He kneels down and places a hand on my foot. What's he holding? Are you hurt? Don't move, this may burn a little. Sensation washes over my rusted foot like stepping into a puddle of battery acid. Ow! Well, maybe that's a big stream, but it, it burns, but it doesn't hurt. Rust crumbles to dust and I'm free. I flex my ankle. It doesn't feel great, but I can at least put weight on it now. Does he have a cane sword? Oh my god, sorry. Graves stands between me and Noct. With a flourish only Graves could accomplish, he pulls a sword from his cane. Guys! It's getting real fighty. What a perfect weapon for him. I mean, not wrong. Nox shoves his hand, his hand in his pocket and rests on his metal bat like a cane. Just standing there, waiting. How are you now? Can you stand unassisted? Yeah, thanks. Who is that? Oh, sorry, I did the wrong voice. Wrong person. If you'll recall that bike in the alley. I very much remembered. I almost forgot the one that was rusted over? When Graves told me not to touch? Is this why? me the source of our collective woes. Aw, oh, come on now. After all we've been through together. Avery? I don't imagine this will end well. I have a favor to ask. Whatever you need, boss. He drops the cane sheath and takes my hand. His eyes are fierce, fire and ice, staring into mine. I feel like I shouldn't blink. I give it to you. All of it. Why is give capitalized? This makes me feel like I'm getting a present I didn't ask for. Take care of it for me, Avery. It, what? All of what? Everything. Everything of mine. You'll understand. Now go, as fast as you can. Go to the cafe. You'll be safe there. Okay, theory time, sorry, because like, I love to get- I know, Graves, why are you making me care about you in this moment? I mean, I already knew you weren't the bad guy, but also. Okay, theory times, because this is how I be. This is how I do be, do be do. Um, so Graves, we, we long since determined that Graves can do magic. I'm guessing Graves has a sordid past where he probably has a lot of enemies. That said, though, he has managed to keep himself safe over the years and probably decided to reimagine his life, hence opening up the cat cafe. At some point, some of said enemies probably came after him. And the only place where he could protect people was at the cafe. So he cursed everybody who worked there that if they didn't have magic and thus couldn't protect themselves, they would turn into a cat and be able to get away quickly from whatever may come after them. The cat curse is probably a protection spell until any of us could learn how to harness magical abilities and defend ourselves. Cause he strikes me as somebody who's not allowed uh, about to let somebody be, like have issues defending, like he's not gonna let somebody be defenseless. 
Hence this right now where it's, you're taking everything. You're taking the safe haven. You're taking everything that is mine. Because he anticipates going down in this moment because this is a battle that he started and therefore needs to finish. Anyways, that's my theory. Let's see how this plays out. What the hell? God damn game. Why, why are you dawdling? Go. Okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. We are saving. Okay, so we just... Oh, okay. So we're saving. And if you've ever watched me play any dating sim whatsoever, I tend to save in case I want to see how the other option plays out. So we're going to do right now, we're going to go back to the cafe. If we finish this early, we're going to come back and do the stay with Graves as an option. Because I'm very curious how both turn out. Guys, this is where this just, like, really got real. Don't you worry, kid. I'll catch up. I'm sorry, what? Nox's words haunt me as best as I, can, as I can on my sore ankle. It hurts with every step, but I can't stop. I pull my phone out as I run. The ma I match the touch screen to get fin to Finley's number. Usually we just text because I hate talking on the phone. I mean, same. If I call, maybe she'll notice and realize it's an emergency. Ring, 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 voicemail, crap. Try a few more times. I almost dialed the pizza place by accident because my hands are shaky. Maybe they'll help me too. I can see the cafe in front of me when my ringtone starts flares to life. Crap, did not hear that. Should have been more quiet. Answer my phone before I can ring anymore. Hello? What the hey, Avery? Everything all right? You locked yourself out or something? Because if you want to come over. No, this is, this is bad. I got attacked. Oh my God, what? Some witch. Ha <laughs> ha, attacked me. Attacked Graves. It's bad. Oh my god, where are you? Heading to the cafe. I'll meet you there, hon. I'm coming. No, wait! Why did you ask him? Come on, why did you ask Finley to do this? I didn't think this through. What if not intercepts her? My gut fills with terror. After all, if he knows who I am, he knows who she is, too. No. Finley's stronger than me. That's <laughs> fair. She knows how to handle creeps, right? I hobble into the cafe, lock the door behind me, and collapse onto the nearest sofa. I closed my eyes for a moment, but then, that sound. Someone furiously jiggling the handle. Holy crap, now that I've had a few minutes to let everything catch up, my angle hurts like hell. I try to hobble to the door, but it flies in before I have the chance. I ready, I ready myself to fight a murderer armed with a bat, but it's Finley, thank fuck. Knock didn't kill me, but if she keeps squeezing, she might. Avery, Avery, babe, what happened? Who hurt you? Urgh. Point me in the right direction. I will destroy. I love Finley so much. This is, this is, she is, like, this is me. I get very protective over people. I'm like, I will fight. Don't think I won't. I will destroy you. Small and full of murder. That is Finley, yes. I am here for it. Finley! What, Avery? What's the matter? I'm gonna, s there we go. Breathing. Breathing is the matter. I'm okay. Just hurt my ankle, but I'll be okay. We need to stay safe and think about what to do. He has a witch, Finley. A witchy beat, a witch beat Graves. He was a witch. There we go. Oh my god, what do we do? Is Mama Finley gonna have to block him? Oh my god. Just like a cat, right? Don't be reckless. It's too dangerous. Shit, 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 shit. The door flies open. Our heads whip around towards it. Graves! What happened? Where is he? Guys, I think I was right. I think the, like, Gra like, I figured this out, like, two seconds before. But Graves had a protection spell. Which means now it broke if Graves is gone. Because if his magic isn't here to hold it, then... And suddenly everyone is here. The curse must have broken for everyone at once. This should be good news, but what it probably means is... Oh, Reese, it's, it's bad... He's still out there, I think. Still out where? He lunges, but Mason intercedes. Stop, they're injured. What happened to them? You have to tell me what happened. Someone attacked us. I have no idea who he was, but he had a grudge against Graves. His name was Noct, I think. Don't know who that is. What happened then? This Noct guy, I think he beat Graves. Reese clutches at his chest. He looks like he might fall over and pass out. I reach out to ease him to the seat, but he swats me away. I knew it. 
knew he was going to get in over his head. I knew another witch was on his tail, but he told me to stay out of it. Okay, well, you understood. You didn't tell the rest of the class? Damn it, I could have helped. Why didn't he let me help? Reese sinks into the couch and slams the armrest with his fist. Feeding on furniture isn't going to do anything, but if it helps him feel better... He sinks his fingers into the cushion and looks hard at the floor. His eyes gloss over. He's holding back tears with everything he's got. I feel really bad for all his blustering. Reese admired Graves a lot. I think he was the only one of us who really did. I guess now, after Graves saved me like that, I kind of do too. Too little, too late, I suppose. So, what happens? What do we do? We avenge him, of course. Kill knocked. Whoa, that's a bit extreme. All's fair in a duel. If that's what the guy wants, then what's what he gets? When he comes to the cafe, I'll take it back from him. Comes to the cafe, why would he do that? That's why Graves gave me the cafe. So that when Graves lost, it was not the property that got given up. Which means he's after me now. That's unfortunate for all of our lives. But you don't have to beat me to get to it. Is Graves really dead? Hey, Landry. I don't know if not intent was to kill him. Damn it. Now Landry's the one who looks pissed. This is kind of scary. I've never seen him do anything but laugh and smile before. It's almost as jarring as seeing Reese cry. Magic is a scourge. This always happens when you get too close. Reese's head snaps up. What do you know about magic? You haven't studied. Have you studied Reese? Oh, hey, his baby. Oh, cinnamon bun. Hayes readies himself with wide eyes, his mouth pursed. Like this conversation is a game of double dutch played with live wires. What is it? Uh, uh, why does everyone keep talking about magic? Was Graves cursed too? It must have been, right? This all sounds so unreal still. Are you sure it's magic? Of course it is. How else could this be happening? But he was too strong to get cursed. That was just that part was just us. But he wasn't too strong not to curse us. Does that matter now? He's gone. And this Noct is gonna be here to take everything else too. He spits the name like it's profane. Reese launches himself from the air and storms to the door. He puts his hand in his pocket like he's concealing a weapon. How did he just take the cafe? That's not how property works. There are, like, deeds and stuff. Not that I know much more about it than anybody. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my parents didn't kill a witch to buy their house. Of course, it's more complicated, but I don't have time to explain which territories. Just know that when you're defeating a duel, you give your property to the winner. Ha <laughs> ha give. Look at the capital G there, folks. So unless Graves gra gave you unless Graves gave it away before the fight, Noct owns the cafe now. Fun fact, guys. Uh, I think he did. What? Before he fought, and before he told me to run away, he told me that he gave everything to me. You? Why you? You're a newborn baby stumbling through the witching world. I'm gonna smack you, Reese. It's not fair. You can't handle it. I think they damn well can. Besides, it's not like Avery's alone, right? I mean, I'm here too. I can kick some rando witch's ass too. Since when can you use magic? Since Avery taught me. Guess I did some good. If Finley can learn, I can too. Jealous? Word that I can take you in a fight now? Huh. <laughs> Wouldn't need magic to beat the snot out of some creep. Let him show his face. Well, I don't know if I'm okay with fighting, but we can all stick together and keep both Avery and the cafe safe, right guys? Y yes. I think a little self-defense could help us all. I know I'd feel a bit better. <laughs> That's how you'll be. You can't expect me to straggle behind. Of course I'll show you magic's really done. First things first, we need a plan. Avery, do you know for sure that Graves was defeated? Well, if the curse is broken, it's a pretty safe assumption. You know what they say about assumptions. Reese, would it ease your mind a bit if I go with you to investigate? Sure. I can use muscle to hold me back from eviscerating Noct. And Avery, we better take care of Mochi. What if Noct, like, takes him as a hostage or something? I bet he's the kind of scum who would do that. I'll get him. I'll bring Mochi back here. What? Finley, no. Come on. I'm good at stealth, and I've already got a key to your place. Who else is gonna go? Since when are you good at stealth? 
Get at those gear games. Give me a cardboard box and I'll be good to go. Finley! Cardboard box is not, is not, that's not going to help you, sweetheart. I'm just going to put that out there. I don't even know where to start with that. Look, doesn't matter. You stay and rest. Finley, Landry, Reese, go on your missions. I'll protect Avery. Oh, I can help too. I know some first aid. I can help with your ankle. Guys, I'm just some screw up kid. You don't have to do this for me. Of course we do. Yeah. You're our screw up kid. We own you now. <laughs> We stick together through thick and thin, us cursed cats. Oh, this is precious. I love these guys. Vigorously scrub my face so I don't look like I'm crying. Okay, we can do this, right? Yeah! Nobody's gonna get hurt, okay? Please, give us more credit than that. Yeah, this guy will be sorry if he underestimates us. Reese, Landry, and Finley all head out together. It's so weird to see them walk away from the cafe as humans. Hayes vanishes into the bathroom for the first aid kit. Mason dips into the kitchen. I hear a horrific screeching noise like metal against linoleum. What is she doing? She turns triumphantly. She smirks at me, or miraculously at the dumb gawking face I'm making. Lock the door. With what? Industrial range? <laughs> oh, I think that's a yes! Oh my god, who needs magic? She can snap that knocked guy in half with her hands. Here's the thing. If I do another playthrough of this, it is purely to end up with Mason. Let's be real. Hayes is back with bandages and a bag of ice. Gingerly, he removes my shoe, rolls up my pant leg to get a better look at my ankle. I'm glad I'm wearing socks that don't have holes. Oof, my ankle does not look great, but it could be a lot worse. I don't think it's sprained, just twisted. You need rest. Thanks, Catsy. <laughs> Can you blame me, though? I'm sorry. I love her. She slowly, neatly wraps my ankle with one of those stretchy bandages. When he pins it in place, it's like prose work. Professional ankle wrapper? You Do you know a lot of first aid haze? You're way calmer than I expected. I studied in scouts. Injuries and things don't bother me. Never have. Not everything makes me feel anxious. <laughs> Well, thank you, and I'm glad you're here to patch me up. He smiles sheepishly, but averts his gaze to the ground toward the ice pack. Props my foot up on one of the big, puffy ottomans and places the ice on my ankle. Oh, lordy, that feels good. Just keep it elevated and rest a little. And take the ice off in 20 minutes. Thanks again, Dr. Hayes. <laughs> I'm going to go make some coffee. I think everyone will need it. I stress nap once Hayes goes back upstairs. Sometimes I need a system shut down before I can think straight again. I think even the cats know something's up because they all swarmed me. I've got two in my lap and the others pile. I want to be in a kid and cuddle puddle. That'd be amazing. It's soothing to hear them and feel their little paws stretch out on me. I hope it's helping them too. That's just it. Like cats, like when they purr, it is really good for your nervous system. It's not good sleep. Anytime I nod off, I have horrible visions of nocturning Finley or the others to rest. This is a mess. This is a huge mess. And this is bad. I try to shut out the thoughts by remembering the Finley sanctioned blast timeline. It's not much, but I feel a little better. Somehow I nod off just for a moment. Shoot awake when I hear the door fly open. Is it knocked? Did he come right through the front door? Can witches come in and uninvited or is that vampires? Oh my god. Okay, it's Finley. Yay! She's so good. Oh, the fuzzy lump inside is unmistakable. Mochi, guess what? Tons of friends. You're gonna hate it here. <coughs> wow, you are so whiny. Oh, don't you hold your pants on, baby. Mochi, do you have any trouble? Is everything okay? It's fine, though I had to lure him into the carrier with treats and he hated every other moment of being in there. So the same as always. Oh, that's good. How about it? Should I unleash, unleash the beast? <coughs> Yeah. Mochi, if you cause any trouble with the other cats, you're going back in. Got it? Like he's gonna choose now to start listening. And then he stands there dumbstruck. He's got his own troubles. He's got his own troubles now and playing nice with the cafe cats, but at least he's here. It's one less thing Nox can use against her. When she's done, I grab Finley by the shoulders and drag her onto the couch. Ack, Avery, what? No, oh, stay here for a second, okay? Just please. I tangle my fingers in her hair and bury my face in her shoulder. I was worried. Oh, Avery. 
I didn't even have time to get scared. I kept thinking about how this guy hurt you. And, oh, I'm going to get angry again. She's so small and full of murder. I kiss the underside of her chin. She breathes a deep, tired sigh. It's going to be okay. Yeah, it is. Is he moving in front of the cafe? Is it? No. There's too many people for it to be knocked. Anyway, I'd know that hat anywhere. It's Reese and Landry already back with Graves. <gasps> or, or what used to be Graves? Now he looks like a forgotten statue, flaking bits of rust as they haul him up the sidewalk. With their hands glowing, I squint to get a better look. Oh, they look like garden gloves? Glowing garden gloves. They set Graves in front of the cafe, then come inside. Reese peels off his gloves and help, helps Landry with his. Nobody touch him until you're properly enchanted. The rust spreads easily. Are you gonna leave him out there? He looks like a huge, ugly yard gnome. Not that I'm gonna say anything. Can't risk the cats coming over to investigate. They might touch the rust and reset it could spread to them too. Can't take him upstairs. Dracula would be at risk. Poor Dracula. I know she'll be heartbroken. So, what do we do now? We are ready. Who here knows a thing or two about magic? I mean, the two of us have learned a thing or two, and we're hardly experts. I guess we'll just do the best we can to teach you, though. Speak for yourself. Can't touch me, I don't already, don't already know. Yeah, wait, Reese, how the hell do you know anything? And why have you kept us out of the loop? I learned a thing or two in my time. I'm not a system manager just because I'm good at accounting. I'm gonna argue you're probably bad at accounting. I have no idea what kind of magic you've been learning, Avery, but I won't let you steal the spotlight. That's not my plan. I don't really care. We gotta come up with a plan. We fight alone. He picks us off. We jump him. We have we all jump him at once. We have a chance. Mason understands. Well, what do you propose? Haven't you ever cram studied before finals? We'll do that using the tried and true grade method. We shove enough magic in our short-term memory to beat him. <laughs> but here's the question, H Dog: Is your assistant manager good at magic? I'm just assuming that assistant managers are probably bad at accounting. I'll be honest. That's how that works, right? You probably forget five minutes after, but who cares by then? Oh, well, that's unfortunate for your for your assistant manager. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You got a better one? See, it'll be fine. I'm basically an expert here too. I got through half the book reports without even opening the book. Just, just take the time to study properly. All right, someone get me the book and I'll get this started. If I ever needed a confirmation that I don't want to be a become a teacher, I get that today. Oh my god. I try sort of, I try leading a sort of haphazard class on magic, but it's like herding cats. Reese keeps correcting me. I think Mason fell asleep. Landry keeps getting distracted and wandering off. Finley's interested, but she's also interested in her phone. Hayes is actually too shy to try anything. Hell, it looks like Mochi is paying more attention than they are. This is important, so I keep trying, and I think they do too, but I'm exhausted. Look, I'm beat, y'all. I gotta take a nap. Can you just sort of independent study? Sure, you get some rest. We can take it from here. Oh, thank God. Nap time. But we have to prepare to fight. Yeah, napping is still preparing to fight, sir. We don't even know if this guy's coming. We could um, take guard shifts. Smart, Hayes. Hayes is a genius. Right, we'll go in shifts. Avery can rest. Two of us can stand guard. The rest of us can move the cats into the basement. Oh, that's actually probably a smart plan. Sorry, I'm really cold, so my gloves are going back on. The basement, why? I don't want any of them in the line of danger. I like how concerned Landry is about the cats. They're safer if they're away from all of us. I don't, I doubt knocked cars about cats. We won't go chasing them. Oh, but we gotta herd them all down there. We can do it if we work together. You better get Mochi and Dracu Dracula too. I don't wanna leave Dracula alone. She must be scared. Sure. Can you get her and keep the cats company? No, I'm taking first shift as guard. Graves would want it that way. I don't think Graves would give a shit. Fine, I'll take care of them. Landry, the cats like me. Great, I'll take the other guard shift. Everybody else, relax. Okay, well, this is, this is, napping is all I feel ready to contribute. I mean, that's not bad. Here's soft sound of footprints approaching, then silence. Not long after that, I feel the gentle peck of a kiss against my forehead. Scoot. Now you're watching the cats. Eh, Mason and Hayes are taking care of it. Scoot. Do we get cuddles? Cuddles in the face of danger. It's fine. 
Pats her lap. I take the invitation by flopping across her legs. <laughs> I know. I feel her fingers sift through my hair. Man, I could die right here, but I probably shouldn't for the sake of the cafe. I know. It's gonna be okay. You're spoiling me. I know, right? Don't get used to it. I'll make it up to you. I'll do something really nice. You just name it. Avery. This sounds serious. Enough that I pop an eye open. She is serious. Well, shit. If we make it out of this, will you... Will I what? This is a hell of a request, my love. Will you cosplay with me? Oh my god, I, that is not what I was expecting, but also depends on the character. Oh my god. What? I think you make a good Ikea. Or there might be some other games you like. I mean, that's it? Of course I will. Perfect! There's, I had this one group in mind too. I think you'd... Shit. Unmistakable sound of glass breaking. I should have quickly my blood can't keep pace. The room swirls. I feel sick. Whoops. Footsteps thunder from somewhere. The basement? I'm not sure. What was that? It came from upstairs. Good thing we removed Dracula. Cosplay as a big spoon. And then she could cosplay as a little spoon. That'd be so cute. Should we, like, go up and see what it was? Don't you dare. I'll go. No! Stomping storm isn't close enough to reveal its source. Mason, wide-eyed but ready. No, I will. What? No! Try and stop me. Okay, but be careful. There is no stopping Mason. <laughs> Mason stalks upstairs fit to kill. I think staying down here is the right idea. Time passes. At first, nothing. But then muffled voices. Thumping. Maybe staying down here wasn't the right idea. Shit. I exchange glances with Finley. Even Landry and Reese have noticed. Landry puts his hand on Reese's shoulder and gives him a firm, grim nod. Reese, keep guard. Right. Guys, I thought we were going with the plan of not getting picked off one by one. Wait, I'm coming too. Avery, stay here. You aren't fit to be tromping up and down like that. No, wait, I can go too. I... Something falls to the ground hard. I went to the noise like someone threw a car off the roof. There's debris everywhere. Landry flies up to the apartment. The rest of us rush to the front windows. It's knocked. He's on the ground, pinned underneath something metallic? What is it? He pushes it aside. No! Reese throws open the door and charges at knocked. And the statue? Did Graves have a statue in his apartment? I don't remember anything like that. Kind of looks like a... Oh. Oh no, Mason. You bastard, are you gonna rust us all one by one? What's it gonna take? What'd you have me do? You're being so difficult. She didn't even have magic! <laughs> she didn't need it. Pushed me out a window, that one. What fire, what muscle. But you, what's a little goslin gonna do to me? Reese pulls something out of the pocket and knocked is there before we can see what it is. Reese's hand is frozen in place, rusted. We have to stop him. She strains to pass me, but I throw my arms around her waist to stop her. Don't, he'll turn you to rust. Who cares? I have to block his ass, but he'll get everyone if I don't. Do it from the door, don't leave. She pries my hands away and charges the entrance, standing wide-legged in the doorway to block his path. Nox seems preoccupied with admiring his handiwork as the rust slowly creeps up Reese's arm. Blocked! Her voice rings through like a church bell, clear and deafening. The telltale gust of winds blast from behind her. Very anime-like. Wind hits him full on, but it barely moves his hair. He raises an eyebrow and stares directly at through us. I don't think it worked. What? It has to! Blocked! Again, the wind. Again. Darling, I hate to ask because you're trying real hard over there, but what are you doing? Can't understand that gibberish. What? Why am I do What am I doing wrong? Now's not the time. We gotta think of something. It's hard to think on your feet when one of them's all messed up. There's a little trash bin by the door. I grab it and slam it to the ground in front of the entryway. I think about a wall. To go cups. Other detritus climb together and cobble their way into a barricade. It's gross and smells like old coffee grounds, but it feels kind of strong. I can still see knocked through the window. He seems amused. Jerk. What are you doing? Mason and Reese are out there. I know, and I feel bad, but they're rust already. We gotta figure out how to save ourselves and the cats. So I'm not even trying to come inside. Maybe he can't? Not gonna take any chances. Gotta, we gotta stall while I think of something. Make a sword and some soda cans and fight him, but then it rusts. Or maybe a plastic sword. 
You aren't a little kid playing pirates. You aren't going to go at anybody with plastic sword. And don't act like you have, you have to run in there yourself. But I've got to do something. If your magic doesn't work on him, we're left with me. I'm not going to let you touch him, even if it was with a weapon. Look at you. You have no idea how to fight. Shush! I'm aware! Okay, but if your blocks don't work, what do we do? I don't know. Try to push the couch over in front of the window, but neither of us is strong enough. I guess it doesn't matter. Nock hasn't touched the trash barricade. I guess we're just stuck. Either Nock gets us or and we'll die of starvation and the cats will eat us. Wow, you went from zero to morbid real fast, sweetheart. sweetheart. It happens. So do I. Don't worry. Finley paces back and forth, muffling, muffling, mumbling to herself and ruffling her fingers through her hair. Um. Mm hmm. I don't get why it didn't work. I put as much power behind it as I could that should have compelled him to stay away as the internet troll. Maybe he didn't get it. Like, he doesn't look like a guy who uses the internet that much, you know? Oh, I forgot to update some of my commands. Whoops, that's fine. Avery, that's it. You're a genius. For what? I was making a joke. No, 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 you're right. He can't get blocked if he doesn't have something to, if he doesn't have something to block. Maybe it has to mean something to the person I'm using it on. I have to find a word or phrase that gets to him. Like what? I don't know what it will do, do if they don't go on the internet. I don't know. Fix motorcycles? Read war books? Watch westerns? Doesn't look like he does any of those things. I don't know any old TV shows. There's gotta be a catchphrase. Trap card! Activate your trap card! Maybe he plays the wizard poker. Okay, I'll distract him while you think. Then I told you not to fight him. What else are you gonna do, honey? I'm distracting. I'm not fighting. I kick the center of the trash barricade as hard as I can. I think about, I don't know, fireworks, shrapnel, something. Trash explodes outwear and it's really gross and I feel really bad for the garbage man. Styrofoam fragments sharpen into edge and fire at Noct. He blocks most of them, but he can't block them all. One hits him on the cheek. I didn't draw blood, but I can see a welt. I may have just made him more angry. I march outside, garbage in hand. I fashioned a go cup into some sort of javelin, willing the cardboard to expand and curl around itself into a long lance. This is kind of actually really impressive. I throw it. It completely not only misses. That part is less impressive. Crap, 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 crap. <laughs> that all you got, kidding? Ain't too terribly impressive, I'm being honest. This is gonna be over real quick. Well, you know the song goes. Life is but a march towards the death. He whistles an awful song, dowers a dirge, and swings the bat. I barely duck in time, or maybe he swings slow enough for me to dodge. I think he's playing with me. Something nags the back of my mind while he whistles. He grabs my foot, and rust creeps up my soul again. I kick the shoe at him, and it hits him square in the face. And this is how we lost our shoes, folks! I dive back in the cafe one shoe later, just as predicted. Knock stops outside the door. He can't come in. This is protected ground. Makes me wonder how we got to Mason. Upstairs. Maybe it's the cafe that's specifically guarded and not necessarily the upstairs. Hey, Finley. Yeah, you okay? I haven't thought of it yet. What is, what song is Life is But a March Towards Death from? What? Why would I know? I don't listen to weird metal. No, no, no. Doesn't it sound familiar? Help me think. Um, um, I don't know. It sounds like a gravesism. Isn't that something he says? I mean, I guess, but why would he say that? And then I remember. We both remember. But I do not remember because it's been a long time since I keep playing this game and I only play it once a month, which is really something I need to stop doing. Graves is in a band. I vaguely remember this now. Graves is in a band. Okay, they had a song that was something called like Rose Baptism. I only remember the parts that weren't in French, but no, 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 no. Ahem, <clears throat> they went something like, no, this is traitorous. My own pupil betrays me. Ahem, trapped within my own mind, something, something in French. My will dissolves to blood. The soul's red rind. Life is but a march towards death. Finley and I shouted at the same time. Spider Coven. Holy crap, holy crap. It's the band. He's the band guy. How else would he know that? I don't know. Just try it. Okay, here goes nothing, I guess. We're going to use his own lyrics against him. Then he marches up to whatever detritus remains of the barricade, cups her hands around her mouth. Wait, wait, wait. I have a better idea. Fashion another to-go cup into a megaphone. 
Ahem. Trapped within thy own mind. God, that line is so bad. I can feel her embarrassment from here. I can feel the embarrassment, and I'm just playing this game. She doesn't look pleased to be saying it, for sure. Nock doesn't look pleased to be hearing it. His lip... This is your own... This is your own BS pulled, put on against you, sir. There goes the gust of wind and hits him. It blows back his hair. More than it is already, and he freezes. He looks... Sturtle. His hands fall slack. He drops the bat. Something's... Sweetie, I feel like that was ad-libbing from Reese. It's fine. Obviously, that doesn't do anything, but the wind kicking up after her magic always looks really cool. My will dissolves to blood! Nock looks dumbfounded like he woke up from a deep nap. He touches his nose and stares at his fingers. Is that make his nose bleed? Hold on, don't do any more yet. I think that's enough. Nox bat rolls away, forgotten. The further it gets away from him, the more it seems to dissolve. Metal shouldn't do that. It melts like cotton candy in the rain. What? I can't. What's happening? What did you do? I don't know. I just wanted to stop him. Yes! Graves is back! He locked away his magic. He can't maintain it anymore. See? You can hear me. The rest is weakening. Sure enough, rust is flaking out off of him like cheap plaster. Falls off his body in chunks, revealing the real graves beneath. You've lost, Noct. Leave. I... Without your magic, even my apprentices could dispatch of you. Go. And never darken my door again. Unless you want the rest of you to dissolve. Damn. Graves. We ain't over yet. Just go. And he does. Reese and Mason, cracking out of their rust-like Easter eggs, stare him down as he leaves. Relief floods over me. I feel myself wobble. Avery, whoa! For I can topple, Finley grabs me in her arms. She's stronger than I thought. I got you, baby. Love you. Oh, you did it! You called me a cute nickname, too. I swear to God. I slept for a whole day after that, and no one can fault me. I think we all needed time to recover. Finley got some rest too, though not as much as me since I ended up passing out in her bed. She tells me I took up too much space, so she slept on the floor. Graves stopped by and tried explaining everything. I didn't really get it. Something, something. Curses, grudges, I don't know. I think it was a weird lover's spot or bandmate's spot. I don't know, both? Could be both. All I know is it's not really my problem. Not anymore, at least. Finley's really bummed to see her cat form go, but Graves says it doesn't have to. She's gonna train with him to learn how to transform at will! In the meantime, she's making more human videos. The two of us started a series where we play video games together. Our first video was of us playing Blast Zone. At night, though. She kinda got a taste for justice after knocked in the creeper thing. Are we becoming vigilantes? What is this story? This has been constant wild turn after wild turn. She keeps saying it's not right that other people are out there getting harassed by internet trolls and stuff. She's taking up this mantle to protect people who are in trouble with that kind of thing. It's really noble of her. I admire that, so I've been coming along too. She keeps trying to come up with hero names or costumes for us, but I refuse. If we're gonna do this, we're just Finley and Avery. But I know sooner or later, she, later she's gonna wear me down. I don't mind that much, as long as we're doing something helpful. As long as we're together. And as long as there's no neon spandex. Did I finish it? I think I finished it. There we go. I was like, what? No, nothing's happening. Hey! Okay. Cool. We're gonna let the credits... Um, told you I had a feeling this game was, I was like, I think I'm close to being at the end. Because, like, I don't know, I was thinking about this game the other day, and I was like, I have a very strong feeling that it is. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to that one major decision where, um, oh my life. We're going to do that, where that one major decision, whether it was stay with Graves and fight versus run away. I want to see what the difference is if we stay with Graves and fight, or if he just forces us back to the cafe. Um, or if it ends things faster for multiple reasons, maybe it's an end game entirely. Who knows? 
Um, and then that'll probably be where we leave it for today. I know it's a little short and sweet, but I kind of, I wanted to see where this would go. Um, what I'm probably going to start doing is any of the dating sims I'm doing that I know are only a few hours, uh, I'm going to start to, um, really map out how long they should be taking for a run through and therefore plan it out by session. So that may, like, obviously stuff will happen. I get very distracted. You know this. I will talk about food for 20 minutes, but <laughs> that way I, I know like if there are certain nights where I'm like, ooh, I want to line this up this way because I have time I can go late that night or start early or whatnot. Um, but this has been interesting. This has been a really fascinating game. And uh, yeah, so we'll go, once this is through, we'll go, we'll check out that one other option. Shout out to Waffle who definitely gave this game to me. Special thanks to the McElroy brothers. What the hell did those two, those three idiots do? I, I love them. Don't get me wrong. Gundam Tanaka, Michael D, D. Michael Moore. Sorry, I just started reading some of these. I guess maybe the McElroy brothers referenced it at some point. It's possible. Anyways. This is such a ride of a story though. What the heck? Okay. We're going to do a quick peek at what happens in this in in this decision because this is such a weird moment okay i'm just very curious because this is like the big major moment so we're just gonna ride it out for a hot second even if it only takes five minutes because we all die no, I know Magic Tune. I'm not going to let you fight this creep by yourself. Avery, you aren't ready for this. Just go. Ping. This is probably two seconds. It's fine. Bat hits the ground. I don't have time to register what's happening before I'm face first on the asphalt. Graves kneels above me. His legs and his right arm are coated in rust. He's stuck to the ground. I told you to run. Graves swings the sword at Noct, but it's easily dodged. If if only I knew the spell that Graves used to dissolve the rust. Maybe I can muddle through. It's worked with everything else so far. Throw my hands around his leg. Avery, don't! Oh, shit, guys. This is how I die. <laughs> Too easy. Always knew you'd get dropped because of your strays. What's wrong with my hands? Why are they rusty? It's spreading. No! Achievement unlocked! I mustn't rust away, I mustn't rust away, I mustn't rust away. Cool! So that version of the game ends just very fast. That took two seconds. Wow. That's really funny. So it's actually kind of neat. So there is this entire gallery. Oh, we get the smooch! It was a very dark ending. Oh my god. Kind of makes me wish I had had I had had the forethought of having... I mean, I can play through again and just, like, speed through it. But... Mm, look at them. Very cute. I love them. Um, yeah, so at some point maybe I'll, like, do something. Because it'd be very interesting because I'm sure whoever you end up with, that's who learns magic first. And therefore, that probably changes how it plays out. Well, probably, I mean, there's probably always a happy ending, but there's also, it like, the magic that gets used, it seems, it'll shift based on the person. But we kind of need to see what everybody else's magic is. Yeah, there wasn't a clear turning point for me. I couldn't figure it out. But I think that's probably a good thing. Um, it makes it harder to gamify it. Uh, but it makes it also harder to figure out how to do additional playthroughs. So, oh no, is is good. Is good game. Is cute game. Um, we may see if I hit a point. I might play fast forward through part of it and see if there's any other like fun endings to go through. Uh, especially with some of the other characters. We know I love Mason. We know I love Hayes. Um, so I mean, possibly with those two. But uh, I'm pretty happy with Finley. I'm not gonna lie. So of all the endings I got, hers is pretty great. Technically, I become a vigilante at the end of this, which I did not foresee that at the start of this. But at least Graves isn't dead. 
Or Mason. Reese is meh. <laughs> Sorry, Reese. Anyways, it's fine. It's fine. Everything is fine. Um, so yeah, I know it's a bit of a shorter stream today, but I think that's where we're going to end it today. I will be back tomorrow, the usual time, five o'clock. Um, I'm trying to think if I'm going to be playing Luna or if I'm going to start a different dating sim. Because as I said at the start of this, I am kind of leaning into a lot more of my playing the dating sims. Um, just because they're fun and it's, I don't know. Don't get me wrong, like, I love playing Lunar. Again, I might just do, like, a weekend stream where I just play that for, like, five hours straight. Are you gonna say Stardew? Are you gonna tell- I, I swear to God, H-Dog. Is it Stardew, baby? Is it Stardew? Or is it the game where- it, No. It's not a dating sim. The one where you became- you were, You're were running a church somewhere. I don't know. Oh my god, the Colonel Sanders dating sim. I had that downloaded, I think, at some point. That clearly hurt me. Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I will do... I will do the Colonel Sanders, San Sanders dating sim. However, this has to be on a night where I order fried chicken. And I will eat fried chicken on stream and play this game at the same time. So I have to, like, emotionally prepare myself. <laughs> but how about we'll do that one at some point. Um, I have, like, a list. I have a bunch of dating sims at this point. Yeah, I know. Nobody else is arguing that this is a good idea, that this is a bad idea, actually. Um, I, yeah, I always want fried chicken. Who am I kidding? But I have a couple other really goofy dating sims so we've on my my to play list so there's a best friend forever which has to deal with dogs we have doki doki ragnarok which is i date villages i know guys i know what you're thinking this is great first cats now we're going into villages um what else do i have Necro Barista, who I, which I think is like a zombie one. <coughs> I'm remembering this. Wait, when is this? I will buy some chicken nuggies. I will warn you guys when I'm doing this, and we will all order fried chicken and play the Colonel Sanders dating sim. How does this Thursday sound? Does this Thursday sound like a thirsty Thursday with Colonels with the Colonel? I don't even. Jesus Christ. What else do I have? I have a bunch of dating sims. Oh, I still have Sucker for Love. I have Winning Love by Daylight. I have... There's a Pinch of Magic. Oh, Pinch of Magic, which is another dating sim. I have a lot of dating sims. And then, as usual, I'm always waiting for Boyfriend Dungeon to come out with their DLC because you know that the second it does, I will be on that soupiest. Um. Okay. And then we're gonna... This Thursday? This Thursday? I think this Thursday. I think we might say this Thursday. This Thirsty Thursday. We will be thirsty and hungry, but not really, with fried chicken and Colonel Sa Saunders. Is it Saunders? Is it Sanders? I don't know. We're gonna figure it out for Thursday. How about that? And that's what we will do. It gives me a few days to eat healthy <laughs> and then not feel bad about it. <laughs> but there we go. We have a dinner date. I don't understand. H-Dog, why do I let you influence anything? Anyways. <sighs> Leaving it there. Y'all have been wonderful. Thank you for playing Hustle Cat with me. And the... Why are dating sims like the most wild rides ever? This is like... Find love or die trying all over again. This is like... Because well, that was also another absolutely ridiculous storyline. Anyways. We're here for it. It's all good. Rar, have a good night. Take care of yourselves. Why? Nobody? Nobody? Okay, that's fine. These are all good. I was like, I was gonna raid, but there's nobody nobody I know online, so we're gonna stick with this. Um. Rar, have a good night, folks. Go eat healthy in preparation for Thursday fried chicken. Bye!